Europe's dairy sector enjoys a wholesome image. Consumers picture cows grazing contentedly in green fields. A new investigation by Compassion in World Farming visited Germany, Europe's largest milk producer, Spain and Denmark. They found a disturbing picture with many cows being kept indoors throughout the year, never enjoying fresh air or the warmth of the sun on their backs. Others are out in the fields during the grass growing season but come indoors for the winter months. In some cases their indoor housing is very poor. Often the farms are barren and uncomfortable with no straw or other bedding. All too often the floors are filthy and unhygienic. Sometimes manure gets onto the cow's hind legs and udders. Cubicles that are too short for the cows are common. This forces the cows to lie or stand with their back legs in the passageway. Some cows suffer from swollen joints or sores and wounds. Others are lame, which can cause great pain. Today's cows are pushed to such high milk yields that many suffer from a range of health problems, including lameness and disease. The pressures on these high-yielding cows are so great that many are utterly worn out after just three or four milk cycles and are prematurely culled. In Denmark, we visited 22 farms. In 15 of them, the cows are kept indoors throughout the year, all too often in barren conditions. These cows will spend their whole lives in these sheds. Lame cows, wounded cows and extremely thin cows were seen all too frequently. In 10 of the 16 farms we visited in Spain, the cows had no access to outside areas. The indoor conditions are often inadequate, with overcrowding and dirty floors. In some Spanish farms, cows' tails are docked. This is illegal under EU law. Docking is painful and makes it impossible for the cow to protect herself from flies. In Germany, Many cows are tethered in chains, in small cubicles. The tether means that all they can do is stand up, lie down, and move a few steps backwards, forwards, or sideways. Some of them are kept like this 24 hours a day, all year round, often in cramped conditions, with beds that were built for smaller cows. Others are tethered from around October to March. In this German farm, not only are the cows tethered, but their hind legs are shackled to give support for weaker cows that have trouble standing up on slippery floors. And here, again in Germany, their tails are tied up. This is often used to restrain the cow's tail from hitting the farmer's face while she's being milked. But keeping the tails tied up all the time is uncomfortable and makes it difficult for the cow to protect herself from flies. In order to produce milk, a cow has to have a calf. Shortly after birth, calves are usually separated from their mothers as her milk is destined not for her calf but for human consumption. Often the calves are kept in barren conditions without bedding. The problems we saw are unlikely to be confined to just three countries. We fear that they can be found in a number of member states. Many cows are still kept outdoors in summer, where they can behave naturally, grazing, exercising and socialising in groups with as much personal space as they want. But increasingly, Europe's cows are being taken off the fields and packed into factory farms where they are zero grazed. We urge the European Commission to propose legislation that requires cows to have access to pasture during the grass growing season. The law should also ban the tethering of cows and provide that when they are indoors, cows are given ample space and clean, comfortable conditions.